So I guess we just missed some hugging incident or something. Is that right? Totally missed the hugging. I don't know where you were, but there was a lot of hugging going on. It was fun. So we're at Nisaga in Seattle, and uh, I'm with Kathy R. Me, yes. (laughs) Rhymes with tortillas. She just did a session on the unbreakable rules of marketing. But did not know about Nisaga before. No. What, I, uh, what did you think it was going to be about? <laughs> well, I did look it up, and I did see that it was gamification simulation. So I did, I, I, I envisioned, I envisioned that it would be, I'm sorry, I envisioned it would be a bunch of geeky people, you know, that are totally into games, and that didn't really maybe know how to necessarily equate it to the real world. So when I first got here, one of the first things that shot down was, Everybody is super like smart, very much into gamification, but for the purpose of of teaching people real learning tools yeah. that they can take back. And I was amazed at how well it was done. So uh, very shocked and very happy. Like there's a lot of things I'm going to be able to take back to what I do. And it's making these connections in the brain. I mean, you actually make a physical connection. Um, you make a physical connection by doing a, a game or doing some kind of, um, you know, gamification or simulation. And it connects your brain to what you're doing. And it's amazing. It's the best way to learn. What are a couple of things that you're planning to do? Well, it's funny because I had already come with the hugging thing. But I, I, do a, I do a hugging simulation where I teach people the proper way to give a hug. And I'm going to turn it a little bit more into a game, and I'm going to make more of a lesson out of it now. Oh, my God. It's going to be fun. And I'm doing it. I'm going to be doing it in Europe. I'm doing it in Slovenia in, like, a month. So it should be really fun. So what's the name of that program? Um, the program that I'm doing? or <laughs> I know. we got to come up with a PC name for it. But I don't know. I'll come up with something. I'm a marketer. I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I thought there was going to be a bunch of geeks and just Beautiful full-on games. I, I didn't realize that, that there was so much application. I, I didn't know that. There's a lot of educators. Who um who were you surprised to meet? Oh my gosh, everybody! I I mean I I I met a guy who his wife is a nurse and and he comes from kind of the academia world and and then he took and made a game for nurses to learn like so I mean you're just meeting people that are taking two worlds and merging them and and then I met another professor from Walla Walla who 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 took a game and just like he ripped it wide open and showed everything that he did like the guts of it and like I a magician kind of I was like that's intense I mean but you the outset of it is of, of how it was teaching people things and how yeah but then just like see the guts of it it wasn't really pretty so <laughs> but you know I mean, that's how it is so you just meet very interesting people that are doing really cool and interesting things and there's a whole variety of people here and from all over the world it's yeah. just amazing I, I showed up from Portland thinking oh I drove the I've driven the furthest I'm two and a half hours yeah. and then I'm sitting at a table and the guy's like oh, I just landed from Hong Kong I'm like in India and Taiwan yeah, and Netherlands. I'm like, really? Okay. All right. Well, then I'm, yeah. Anyway, really I cool. I love the idea that there's so many playful people who are being crazy creative. Oh yeah. So, Well, really thanks cool. for, for joining us. Yeah. Jolene, you're awesome. Thank you. And the saga is awesome. If you, if you, have you never thought about coming here or didn't even know what it was, you should be here next year. For sure. Nasaga. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jolene, the conference reporter at Nasaga, and we are going to learn about hugs. And Jim is going to tell us what he learned from Kathy. Is that right? That's right. So, you know, hugging is, is, a, is a big part of life for some people, but you got to do it right. You got to do it right. And so we're going to show you the uh, inadequate form of hugging. So when you meet somebody and you're giving an inadequate hug, it's a little bit like this. A little, a little awkwardness, uh, the patting on the back. Yeah. So if you're going to give a hug, you should give a hug. The right way. So let's do it the right way here. Okay, we're gonna hold on, hold that, hold that, hold that, because we're gonna. We're, <laughs> so we're gonna look. We're gonna look. Oh, look at the face. We are the world. Okay. Let me. Let's see Kathy's face. What's happening here, Kathy? I've got this extra. Are your eyes closed? Extra squeeze. Extra squeeze. It just feels good. I feel connected. I feel good. I knew that I would. Where's the origin from the hugging action? Well, it's really funny. I was reading a book by a Buddhist monk, and he talked about how he wasn't used to hugging people, but when he came to practice in the Western world, he said, I had to learn to give a proper hug. Now, the reason for the arm over is it makes us equal. Nobody's dominant, and our hearts are touching. If you go right arm over, left arm under, our hearts actually connect. Two hearts. Beating as one thing. <laughs> so now, is that if if it's a hug for like you know, like a hug for like you know somebody that you kind of you know, 
<laughs> kind of like, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, is that is that no, different? That's that's different. That's totally different. And we're not we're not even going to cover that here. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to do the She's inappropriate. She's just talking about how to give love. Okay, so this yeah. is a plutonic type uh, hug. Giving love to your customers. Yeah. Right. It's a metaphor companies, for giving love. Yeah, exactly. Companies need to hug their customers and that's so they need to do it properly. Okay. Yeah. And inappropriate is bad. So <laughs> I, And and he's he's gonna he's we're shown not even us allowed that. to model inappropriate. <laughs> that's how bad it is. No, not with okay, the camera. Well, well thanks for the lesson and I think we have people back here like observing. Look at <laughs> <laughs> They're all inspired. <laughs>